time for our second Let's Play video for this year. And I have chosen Big Top Barney for the Commodore 64 because... Uh... Oops, that's a, that's a bit loud, isn't it? Okay. Because it's actually the theme for this Let's Play series. Although the theme is actually from the Amstrad version. And besides that, it's one of my all-time favorite Nostalgia Trip games for the C64. This is... I used to play this quite a bit in in the late 80s when uh, when I still had the C64 as a new thing and <clears throat> I had copied this from, from one of my friends. And now I do have the original actually in the closet back there and I'm loading this from my C64 SD Princess uh, from Manosoft. This is a product that has been out of out of print for years now. They made uh, ma they made another SD card reader with uh, tape image capabilities a bit later on, and that has been out of print as well. And then they made this. Uh, High fidelity <laughs> tape, uh, a virtual tape machine kind of a thing later on. And uh, I've been planning on buying that actually, but I still load from the Princess, which which works which works well enough, I think. But yeah, Big Top Barney is uh, well. If anyone has ever played a circus game called Circus Charlie on the NES or MSX. It was actually released also on the C64 and I made a comparison of that. And I also made a comparison of Big Top Barney after mistakenly assuming that it wasn't released for any other computer than the C64. It was also released for the Amstrad as you know now. Um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a C64 game and I'm including this loading sequence here, kind of, as a bonus, because I love the music in this. In all the uh, Interceptor software tape loading schemes anyway. But I'm gonna cut now. And come back to <laughs> the final loading sequence, which says loading code at the top left corner. And you can't hear anything except a mild squeaking of the princess loading it, the actual tape image there. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and here we go. Big Top Barney, created by Jason Benham and marketed by Interceptor Micros, which was also called Interceptor Software up to some point. And as you can hear, the music is completely different from that of the Amstrad version, which you can hear a bit in the intro for this Let's Play series. Um, F1 to start a game. F3 adjustments. You can adjust the... Uh, let's see. Number of Barneys. Up to eight. I'm gonna go with 4 as it's the usual. Difficulty level 1 from 3, well, I'm gonna go with 1. Extra Barney every... ranging from 20,000 to 40,000. I'm gonna go with 20,000 because... I'm not that good actually with this game. F1 start a game. And the great thing about this game is that the game progresses for each level, like, on their own, separately from each, from the other levels. So if, if I start progressing on level 1, the other levels still keep to the uh, difficulty levels they're at. And this is the basic tightrope kind of thing. I'm not gonna go through those high ones because they're a bit hazardous. And if you keep going to the right here, 
I think the game will go a bit faster. And now I'm gonna have to jump over this. Yay, get 1200 for jumping over the monkey as well. well this is one of those have to have levels in a circus game because it's a tightrope thing and you know, Circus Trolley has it, uh, Circus Games from Tyne Tynesoft has it in its own way. I think, uh, what was that other game called from Mindscape? It's uh, Fiendish Freddy's Big Top of Fun. That has it too, in some, some way. Um, but they're all a bit different. So no biggie. Thirty meters to go. Oh, I'm now gonna have to back up a bit because that's gonna be a bit difficult to get through with the monkey already so close. So now I'm just gonna avoid that one. Twenty meters to go. <coughs> oh, and it has these money bags also. They don't appear very often, but they're there. And now, now when I say they don't appear often, I get three, four in a row. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And there we go. That's the first level. I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not going to show the first level again because it doesn't really make all that much progress. At least that I don't remember it does. The second level is this sort of weird platforming thing where you evade Otto, the uh, sort of evil clown up there. I don't know, he almost looks like a sort of... I don't know. You're basically supposed to collect all those flashing balloons, but uh, it takes so much energy, well, strength, as it says above, that I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> Whee! Pushing the fire button makes you go faster. And now I'm gonna go up. Whoa! Shit. Try to evade auto. Now back down. So now I only have to collect the one here. And it's getting close, but there we go. <laughs> 10 to 14, I'm not sure if that was it. But now if I, if I take another go at this, it's gonna be completely different design of the level. As you see. I'm gonna try to collect more of these flashing ones now. That one went up. If I don't run, it'll take less strength. And if I do, I could get to the end a bit quicker, but... Now, walking over these... Uh... Ooh, crap. Yeah, but that's basically... Oh yeah, I have to complete it before I can get to select another level. Well... Let's try. I can't jump down like Otto does, but uh... oh, and if I try to jump over those, jump up through those skulls, I'm gonna fail the level. 
now, let's go here. Woohoo! That was pretty good. And the way to jump through those platforms in this level is to pull the joystick down. Okay, let's go with hard, which I'm not really sure is. But it's uh, a unicycle level. Kind of like the tightrope thing, but going to the other way. And then you need to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. This can get a bit difficult, I, I have to admit. And... <laughs> This level is a bit buggy, because sometimes the uh, controls jam, so you can't actually go to the direction you want to. But that's something you have to deal with. And of course, Barney only jumps like... <coughs> in one length, so you have to... Anticipate your moves accordingly. Unlike in the tightrope level, you can't make this uh, unicycle go any faster. But you can also go under those higher platforms. Whoa! That was close. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and you can accelerate and decelerate mid-air. <laughs> Which is a bit weird, but there you go. Home. Now I have to jump onto that one. Yay! 10 to 14 again. <laughs> okay, so that's another level that doesn't really get all that different from, from the first go. But this last one, this, this is really, as it says, it's the hardest one. You have to jump on these trampoline kind of things and collect a number of keys. Ooh. And free this I think it's a lion or something that's in the cage in the in the cage. planning on that. Eh, no. As I said, it's the hardest one. As the game says, it's the hardest one. <coughs> and the way to do this, these levels is you really have to uh, figure out the best way to move on all the platforms trampolines. Ah. But the one thing you can't rely on is those fire-breathing dudes down there. Because <clears throat> their timing is completely random. So the way to go with this one is to First drop down and then jump. And I'm hoping I'm gonna get... Ooh, yes, good. And now... I have to grab this vine or rope or whatever it is. And... Uh, oh. It is difficult because Barney moves constantly. You can't stop him. Unless... Now, that's a problem. The way to come off of that is only 
to the direction the rope is going. And now I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, yeah, I have to wait. And now it's just that's finished. But I'm running out of time. Uh, it is very difficult, I have to say. One more go. Yeah, so the difficulty is not in how you have to move through these platforms and trampolines and ropes, but rather in the timing because because of the random fire breathers. So it's entirely up to them how this level progresses. Because you can't really do any better than what I'm doing right now. Because this is the correct order. And the only order the game goes, this level. Whoop! And back to here. This is going pretty well now, I think. And one more key here. Yep. Ah. I'm gonna have to wait for those. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yep. Ah! I'm on fire. Yes! And then I'm gonna show you another variation of that level. Oh! I forgot the placement of the key. Who cares? Ah! I actually got 300 points because I touched the rope. Right now, I have no way of of completing this. And that's gonna go there. <coughs> mm. There. Not to go there. So the first two are on the left. Third one is on the right edge, and that's an easy one. But now there. Oh, but that's. Ooh. Never mind. I wasn't gonna go anyway. Hmm. Yes. Try to see if I can jump. No, I can only go into the direction the rope is going. <coughs> then, yeah, now to the right. So that's too low for me to reach on the rope, so I'm gonna have to go down like this and drop. What now? There. Oof. Jeez. Yeah, that's a good one. <clears throat> Here. And then what? Okay. That's good. And now it's complete. Do I have the time to go there? Probably not. No. So close! <clears throat> I think.
think I'm on my final life now. So. Yeah, it's super annoying when. Oof. I didn't intend that. It's super annoying when the game designer. puts a little bit of a random element into these when when there's a time limit that's already a bit harsh. But you know, this is 1984, 85, whatever it is. And then... Super annoying. Oh, but now I can go here because the last one is going to be at the left low corner. Whip! And then. This might actually work. And then. I got the key finished. Yee hee! That's nice. <laughs> you know, the timer really doesn't correspond to the bonus thing. I'm gonna go with this for a change. Um, okay. That auto is very much quicker here than. Oh, crap. Than in the previous levels. And that's the end of performance. You have a new high score. Of course, this being a. not a very arcade game, you don't need to type in your name. But that's okay. And that's Big Tom Barney for you on the Commodore 64. Uh, I hope this opened a bit up of the uh, of the game for you. Uh, yeah, I have to say the Amstrad version is considerably different to play and not nearly as nice. And uh, you can read about it in the comparison I made some years ago. Link in the description if you feel like reading that sort of thing. But yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you liked it, see you next time with something, I don't know what, but hopefully something completely different. Cheers!